Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for coming. Um, it is uh, with both um, some excitement and some regret that um, uh, I announced today that uh, we will um, be nominating uh, the president of the BPU, Lee Solomon, uh, to be a judge on the Superior Court in Camden County. As, uh, as you know, um, Lee and I have known each other for a long time and uh, worked together uh, in the United States Attorney's Office. He was the first uh, Deputy United States Attorney for the Southern Vicinages and a position that I created when I was U.S. Attorney to put more of an emphasis on the uh, crime issues in the southern part of New Jersey. And Lee grew the Trenton and Camden offices both in terms of numbers and significance during his time there and left uh, during my tenure as U.S. Attorney um, to fulfill a dream of his to become a, a judge of the Superior Court. After my election in, in November of 2009, uh, I reached out to Lee uh, really just on the, on the hope that maybe he'd be willing to leave the bench to come and take the hard work that we needed to do uh, at the BPU on. And I was um, incredibly gratified that he was willing to leave a seat on the Superior Court to come and do the work that needed to be done uh, at the uh, BPU. And during his now nearly two years uh, as the president of the Board of Public Utilities, he has done some extraordinary things. Um, New Jersey's energy master plan um, has been revisited and put forward. Um, they've held a series of public hearings and we're expected to finalize the energy master plan before um, Lee's final day um, as the president of the BPU. In the areas of clean energy and energy efficiency, uh, BPU has achieved some impressive energy efficiency and renewable energy program goals and we've had the corresponding positive environmental impacts. Um, our clean energy program has been uh, expanded under Lee's watch. He oversaw the largest growth in renewable energy markets since New Jersey began to incentivize the industry. And New Jersey's solar industry has skyrocketed now under his watch to over 450 megawatts of installed capacity through more than 11,000 solar installations across the state, which more than doubled all previous years combined and is now number one in the nation for non-residential installations. Those all came under President Solomon's leadership. BPU also implemented the Offshore Wind Economic Development Act, and Lee is working um, and has been working on the development of the Offshore Renewable Energy Certificate Program, which must include consideration by the board of an economic development cost-benefit analysis when evaluating proposals to build near or offshore wind generation. So we're moving smartly and efficiently towards an offshore wind industry here in New Jersey. And also, he's continued to keep his eye on the effect that uh, the BPU can have on the business climate uh, in New Jersey. The elimination of the retail margin charge affected about 848 commercial and industrial uh, companies across New Jersey and are seen as an enormous help. They also supported another economic driver by teaming up with the EDA to encourage combined heat and power through the jointly developed Clean Energy Solutions ARA Combined Heat and Power Program, uh, and also making sure uh, that we have reliable and affordable utility service both for our business customers um, and for our residential consumers. Um, Lee's had a number of challenges in this regard, but has continued to stay um, absolutely consistent with the idea that we need more in-state generation of electricity here in New Jersey so that we become less dependent on out-of-state energy sources. Um, Lee has led the charge and against some significant opposition, but he has remained steadfast because he believes it will improve the service and the pricing uh, for the consumers here in New Jersey. This has been a pro-consumer BPU president who has put the interests of the consumers ahead of the interests of the utility companies. And believe me, I've heard the complaints from the utilities companies directly, so I know they feel that way about him. Um, also, he took the hard decision when no one else was doing it of approving the Susquehanna Roseland transmission line. And it was controversial at the time, so controversial that the Corazon administration punted it. They were supposed to do it in November of 09, in December of 09, in January of 09 before we got here, and they continued to punt it and put it off um, in another example of their avoidance behavior for decision making. And Lee Solomon took it on as soon as he got there, approved it, and while controversy has followed from there, um, the federal government now, and Interior Secretary uh, Salazar has said it's now a priority uh, project uh, and we will work to make sure that the permits that are obtained by the federal government 
to go through the Delaware water gap phase, and this will again provide more reliable electric transmission into the state of New Jersey. And that's because Lee Solomon, in leadership of the BPU, didn't punt the decision. He made the decision uh, and did a great job in doing it. I know um, that Lee would want me to say that his staff at the BPU, not just the other commissioners, but also the staff at the BPU, um, have been extraordinarily helpful uh, to him in uh, making sure that he could reach all of these goals. And so you can see why I have mixed emotions. He has been an extraordinarily effective BPU president. But I also know that when we talked about it back in the fall of 2009, Lee told me that he wanted to come and serve for a period of time in the administration, but then he wanted to return to the bench, and that's where he wanted to complete his public service career. And so at the mid part of your first term, it's kind of a natural time to consider these things. Uh, Lee and I had a conversation about three weeks ago where I asked him what he thought about the timing. He thought the timing now was appropriate, and I agreed. And so we have uh, forwarded to the Senate our notice of intention to nominate him to the bench. And uh, I feel confident um, that the Senate will, uh, will find his credentials uh, even better now than when they um, confirmed him the first time to the bench. Uh, and we'll return him to the bench. So uh, we now have a BPU presidency to fill, and I'm very happy to announce that Bob Hanna, who is the director of the Division of Law uh, in the Attorney General's office, uh, has accepted my request to put his name in nomination for president of the BPU. Uh, Bob is, again, someone who I've known uh, for now a decade. Uh, we worked together at the United States Attorney's office, where he served for 16 years. Uh, as an assistant United States attorney, um, including service in the civil division and the frauds division. He was chief of the securities and health care fraud unit. He led the prosecution uh, of Bristol-Myers Squibb uh, and the ultimate um, agreement that we reached with them at the conclusion of that prosecution, along with many other um, very important cases in the health care fraud area uh, and in the uh, securities fraud area. Uh, Bob then went on to become a director um, at the Gibbons Law Firm in Newark. And uh, after my election as governor in uh, November 2009, um, uh, along with the Attorney General, uh, we asked Bob to come and be the director of the Division of Law, um, running the largest area of the Attorney General's office, and being the person in charge of the handling of all civil litigation involving uh, the state of New Jersey uh, as a party. Also, uh, overseeing all the advice that's given to the different departments and agencies uh, in the state government uh, from the Attorney General's office. It is an enormous job uh, and one of the largest jobs in state government. Um, Bob has done it with great skill, uh, with objectivity. Uh, I don't always, as, as happened when Bob was in the U.S. Attorney's office, uh, Bob doesn't always give me the answer I want, um, but he gives me the right answer. Uh, and I know that he'll do exactly the same thing as President of the BPU. He will come to the right conclusions. Um, He's a graduate, obviously, of Manhattan College and of Fordham University School of Law. Um, he's a resident of Madison. Uh, and uh, he and his family have made significant contributions to the community in addition to his public service over time. And so uh, I want to thank Bob for his uh, willingness to continue his public service in this administration. Um, we look forward to a uh, speedy confirmation hearing during lame duck. There are very important things going on right now at the BPU. And so I would urge the Senate, I've already had conversations with the Senate President to alert him uh, before today's press conference um, to the fact that we're going to be making this announcement today. Um, and we're going to work hard together to try to see that Mr. Hanna's confirmation hearings are held during this lame duck phase uh, so that the Senate can give him full consideration um, before the new session begins in January so that we can get Lee back on the bench in a timely fashion and uh, make sure that we don't have a leadership gap um, for any time at the BPU. The issues that are going on there are just much too important to have any kind of vacuum exist during that period of time. So Lieutenant Governor and I know both of these folks very well. And um, I think these are both um, uh, it, folks who are indicative of the quality of people that we've tried to bring to state government during our time here in Trenton so far. Uh, people who have served in public service before, who understand the integrity that's required, the trust that's given, uh, and what you need to do uh, to make sure that you do your job the right way in the public interest. And so um, I thank both of them for their willingness to serve, for Lee's willingness to leave the bench and then come back here 
um, to serve in our cabinet for a period of time, and now to continue public service as a member, uh, we hope, uh, after confirmation of the Superior Court uh, of New Jersey, and um, for, uh, for Bob Hanna, for his willingness to step forward and step up uh, to be a member of our cabinet. Um, I look forward to working with Bob uh, after confirmation uh, over the course of the next two years to continue the work that we're trying to do at the BPU to bring affordable, reliable energy to the businesses and the people of New Jersey, uh, to try to make sure that the regulatory scheme is one that is encouraging to business, not discouraging um, to job creation and development here in the state.